so. And I'm going to hook this so teeth in. Okay. So now, when you've put that tool down, so both hands, one each end, pull it towards you. How, how quick? It doesn't look. Steady. Like that. Perfect. Give that to me. There you go. No, it's just copy paper. Okay. Yeah, for this kind of thing. If it was being used for bookbinding, then they'd specify the kind of paper right. that they need. Ta da! Oh, yeah, it's oh good. Oh my goodness, so that's beautiful. Because you did it in rows and columns, it, it's kept the purple and the blue and the green very distinct. So you can now experiment with how you put the paint on. So this, you had purple blue and then green didn't you so you could put the purple on and then see what happens when you put the blue inside of it mm. or see what happens when you do it in rows so purple okay. blue green that way or just experiment with the greens you got the two different greens see what happens when you just use concentric greens mm. yeah so it seems to work do, yeah. doing about five of those okay. and that We'll make these colours work better. Thank you very much. We'll be back again. Yeah. I know you can stay all day. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you. Try it. It's really fun. It, it looks amazingly good, Rob. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're very welcome. Cheerio. Bye. Children love. Are you are you okay with people coming in? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Film it so you can see it at home. Okay, that's fine. So now make sure that's really clean before you do your gale git. Does it matter which way you start with your gale gate? Uh, as in final result? It depends what it is you're trying to achieve. Okay. Okay, so now yeah. you're going to do nine. So let's start with the dark green. Your first one's going to go here. And then you're going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you end up with three rows of three. So you end up with nine all together. That's it, and now use the lighter grey.
now you can decide do you want to go around and put purple in them or do you want to go back around and put green, the dark green so when you look at it so you're going to emphasize if you put purple on you will emphasize more of the purple if you put green on obviously more of the green is going to come through Do I have to tend to make them symmetrical or it doesn't really ma matter? Uh, with this particular one you're going to see, I'll show you what it is that you need to do and then you can decide afterwards whether so, it's so necessary. So far there, is not, there isn't an issue that they are slightly, some are slightly thicker than the other ones? Uh, no, no. no. Okay. not to that degree. I mean it's... Okay. So you're going to use this tool, make sure it's really clean. Yeah. And you're going to follow me. So we're going to come through like mm -hmm. this. So you're going to follow me, it's quite slow. So you're going to be about that below the surface, right here. Under an angle? No, here. So below the surface, okay. penetrate, that's it, now follow me. Slow down a bit doesn't need to be too fast that's it and then round the corner and then through this one that's it not quite so deep mm -hmm. okay. okay round here that's it and then when you get to that one come around the corner here and then you're going to bisect the widest part, so now through here. This way? Yep. Yeah. And then through here. That's it, and through here. So you're coming through the heart, so that's it, along to here. And then down through those, and so on. Good.